Ms. Max Massey, please identify yourself. And, and uh, great. My name is Jean one. Massey, and I'm the Executive Director at Fair Vote Minnesota. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, uh, Chair Carlson, members of the committee, to provide testimony on this important piece of legislation and Senator Dimble for uh, putting this forward. Fair Vote Minnesota, as you may know, is a statewide nonpartisan organization that promotes electoral systems that are fair, free, inclusive, competitive, and representative of all voters and responsive to their needs. I'm here before you as an advocate to protect and strengthen our democracy. Most of you know me as an advocate of ranked choice voting, a reform cited by national experts as one of the top reforms to strengthen our democracy, and a topic I hope to be addressing in this committee soon. But today I come to you with a similar goal, to deepen our state's commitment to a democracy that works for all Minnesotans. Just as we wish to enshrine equal rights for women in our Constitution, we must enshrine the right to free, fair, and equal elections for all Minnesota voters. There really is no more important guarantee in a constitutional democracy. The Minnesota Constitution is, is surprisingly silent on elections and leaves our state vulnerable to attacks on our electoral institutions. As the violent attack on our nation's capital on January 6, 2021 showed, there are those who want to deny electoral outcomes and dismantle our system of democratic procedures, and unfortunately, these e efforts are only accelerating. As we speak, the U.S. Supreme Court is considering a case that would give state legislatures broad authority to draw gerrymandered electoral maps, deny voting rights, and potentially declare election results themselves. I want to underscore that we are in uncharted territory, and the danger to our democracy is real. Multiple members of armed militia groups have been convicted of seditious conspiracy, and high-level officials on the federal and state level had had multiple and active efforts to overturn the election. If the Supreme Court rules that only state legislatures have the power over elections, that danger becomes an ongoing threat. There have been sufficient efforts, there have not been sufficient efforts to take action against these threats to our democracy, and this constitutional amendment, along with other democracy reforms, are urgent and necessary. The best way to protect Minnesota from the dangers of this potentially a dangerous decision and from future state legislatures denying basic voting rights is to ensure the ba basic principle of fair, free, and equal elections in our Constitution. And importantly, constitutionally prohibit civil and military interference in our elections as we saw happen in our nation's capital two years ago. I urge you to support this measure to place a constitutional amendment on the ballot and give voters the power to decide on the right for fair, free, and equal elections for all. Thank you for this opportunity to submit testimony on this important issue. 